Hey, this is Pastor David. I call you blessed. Uh, look at that. See all that mess on my desk? Oh, my goodness. You know what? I uh, See that? that? That's change. I got this little bucket. I keep it in my, my desk drawer here. I don't like carrying change around with me. I throw it in there. Um, I don't know if you can tell. It's it's down like just a little bit right here. Um, there's still, it's full up to here. I've already cleared out eight bucks just from throwing in there. All this stuff that you see on my desk, yeah, once a year or so I try to clean out my desk and get rid of stuff that's just accumulated. It's amazing how fast stuff accumulates. It just kind of adds up and it becomes cluttery and it's it just, oh man, it's a mess. You know what? I was thinking, our minds get cluttered too. I was talking to somebody not too long ago in, um, you know, in 2 Corinthians where the Bible talks about casting down every thought and every imagination. If you're not careful and you don't apply the principle of taking thoughts captive and casting them down, you're going to end up like my desk here with a bunch of clutter. There's going to be ideas and thoughts and things that just uh, kind of accumulate where the, the world, you ever seen like on the side of the boat, those, uh, I can't remember what they call them, they, they barnacles, they hook to the boat and everything like that. And it starts weighing it down and dragging it down and, and messing with the drag on it. Um, you can get barnacles in your brain. You can get barnacles in your life. And if you don't take captive the thoughts that come, we have thoughts, we're like the most marketed to people in the world here in the United States. I mean, you got stuff coming at you all day long, pop-ups, commercials, uh, billboards. I mean, they're just all over the place. You got ideas being thrown at you. And if you don't take uh, control, captive the thoughts, it's going to mess with you. Romans 12, 2 says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You don't conform to this world. You got to you gotta go through a transformation process. You got to get rid of the stuff that doesn't really matter. Do you know that within this stuff, there's some things I'm going to keep that are important to me. There's some things that are absolute trash. But if I, if I just, if I didn't go through and declutter, the trash would have stayed in my desk and uh, just sitting around doing what trash does, accumulating. Uh, you know, we, we've, we've got to keep our minds clean. We've got to, we've got to keep our, our minds focused on where we're going and our hearts in tune with what God's saying. Uh, we've, we've got to plan our day. We've got to know where we're going. We've got to, the things that are, um, uh, that come along, I, I watch people, man. Most people major on minors. Don't be that person. You know, there are things in life there, you know, in the whole scheme of life, they really don't matter. Yet people spend a lot of time trying to deal with them. Don't be that person. How do you do it? Number one, you got to be in the Word. Your, your own Bible study time, it's important. When was the last time you cracked open your Bible and read it? If it's been a while, now, if you opened up your iPad or something, that constitutes cracking open your Bible. But um, when's the last time you sat down and tried to get something from the Lord? When's the last time you studied a subject and just gleaned all you could on that subject out of the Bible? When's the last time you, I know a lot of Christians, they pray as they go through their day, but when's the last time you separated yourself into prayer and just spent some time alone with God? I'll tell you, the day and time that we're living in, this clutter is coming at us so fast and so furious that if you don't purpose to live cluttered free, then you are going to uh, um, you're going to be hindered. And what I was getting ready to say a minute ago is I was talking to somebody not too long ago, and I told them, if you can control your thought, you've already eliminated 90% of the problems. Why? Because our thought life is what brings us down or takes us over. It's where the transformation comes. Uh, and this world is trying to capture your attention like nothing else. Stop it. Get yourself in church. Get yourself in the Bible. Keep yourself in prayer. Uh, live a life that lives according to the Word of God. It's becoming seriously important. Call you blessed. Come out and see us tomorrow night. We're doing a study in the Bible. You need it. Yes. Bible study with the pastor. 8.30 Tuesday mornings. Be there. Uh, we're having a great time in it. But anyway, it's an important time we live in. Don't fall for all this this pseudo-faith, this, uh, this fake... Uh, fake preaching and stuff like that going on. It's it's very serious time. I call you blessed. I look forward to seeing you soon.